Forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. And even if you don't win the Powerball, at least we hit the jackpot with the sunset tonight. Again, another beautiful sunset across the First Coast. Don't you love a good marsh sunset at that? So this was taken in Fernandina Beach. Thank you to all of our weather watchers who have been submitting their photos on Facebook. Current temperatures right now sitting in the 50s for a lot of us coming in the 60s still. St. Simons and in NA, NA, NAS Jacks. Over the next couple of hours, temperatures are going to fall down through the 50s. Lows will be on either side of 50 degrees, so some of you could be waking up early in the morning to the 40s yet again. But then we do quickly warm up and highs tomorrow will likely reach the 80s for all of us. We're going with a high of 82 degrees. It's still a classic October weather pattern that's in place. As our chief meteorologist likes to say, Tim Deegan, classic October weather because it's that dry air, that sunshine. It's comfortable outside, though tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than today. Enjoy it because changes are on the way. So we have a lot going on in the tropics. Real quick, this one here likely to become a tropical depression and potentially our next name storm, which is Sean, but it is not a threat to us. What we are watching is this area of low pressure here in the Gulf, likely not going to get a name. It only has a 20% chance of tropical development or becoming named. But what we will watch is for this area here to combine its energy with Max and Lydia, two name storms. Lydia is a hurricane, Max is now a tropical depression, making landfall in Mexico. Those storms are going to have their moisture surge over to the Gulf. It's going to combine and bring that tropical moisture to us because not only do we have this tropical moisture combining with our low pressure system, then we have this warm front associated with that low pressure system and that's just going to send waves of rain towards us. Heavy rain possible. So on Wednesday, we're expecting the strongest storms, the heaviest rain to hold off until after sunset on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we expect the worst of the rain to be earlier in the morning hours. So here's what I'm talking about. Wednesday morning, cloudy out there, likely a gross day. We could get a few showers in the afternoon and early evening, but it's not till later, late Wednesday and into Thursday when we get that heavy rain, potentially a strong storm or two, depending on where that warm front sets up. And that will continue through our Thursday morning. And then the worst of it, likely still holding on later on our Thursday morning. And then we could get a few more rounds of rain throughout the day, Thursday, Thursday evening, and into Friday. Our weather pattern stays unsettled. So I can't rule out rain Thursday or Friday. If you're heading to the Northeast Florida Fair, again, the worst of the rain in the morning and the grand opening is at 5 p.m. Friday can't rule out some more showers. Saturday, pretty nice. Sunday, absolutely gorgeous. Same story if you're heading to the Jacksonville Zoo Spooktacular. Look at this in the evening. By Sunday, it will feel wonderful outside, and that's because of a cold front that will be moving through on Saturday, leaving us with great Sunday weather yet again. Look at this for the Jags game on Sunday. We're talking temperatures in the 70, low humidity, a bit of a breeze out there, lots of sunshine, perfect football weather, if you ask me. Here's your seven-day forecast. Don't forget your umbrella, especially late Wednesday night into, through Thursday and also into Friday. Lee, thank